supplemental log December 2nd 2010 we are not afraid of these guys I am not afraid of these guys these are the guys the demons that actually help orchestrate the destruction of my life we're talking about New York City the municipality we're talking about the elected officials right here and then we're talking about the court right there and Judge Maria Rezos in New York City. We got these guys and we got them good because they drove me to go sleep on the freaking beach. That's right. While I was sleeping in that bag right there. You understand what I'm saying? And that's all part of the second book of this series. Let me make sure you can see it good. That's the book coming out. This box right here is full of the evidence for the file of the litigation because I am this guy that was destroyed. That was in New York News Day. Okay? And what I've got is I've got stuff on everybody on the Congressional Black Caucus. That's sure going to look good because this guy is the leader of this guy. That's right, Congressman Gregory W. Meeks. That's the guy right here for his re-election. I created the World Appellate Court of Good Morals and Nexus campaign for him and found out that this guy is a big freaking traitor. And everybody in his office is a bunch of freaking Judas that got all these pieces of freaking silver to sell my ass down the goddamn river. And they got them a couple of newspapers like this one right here, the Southeast Queens Press. And this one right here. But this freaking guy said to me last night, he don't like how I'm talking to him. I'm not in your fucking class. If I talk to you, and you think I'm talking down to you, it's because you need to talk down to right about now. See, I'm the guy that also worked for Mayor Bloomberg. Last chance to go to his party. I went to his party, seen so many cute white girls. Lord have mercy. And I know they got good credit. But when you get a guy like this guy, and you get a guy like this guy, and you hear you get another black guy like this guy to tell you SOS to black voters, and I ain't got the paper, to show you why Shirley Huntley's camp got to get spanked with this big spanker right here for having orchestrated a death threat and then it's all rigged man it's all rigged because they got these guys running for city for that city council seat for white and councilman Comey got the in on that that's right his guy got elected but the reason why I'm here today it's because I'm getting right back on the road after what Tom Crater said to me last night. I sent him a real nasty freaking letter. Beach 18, that's where I used to live at with this, and I'm on my way to Florida to live like that so I can escape these guys for a little while. Because right after I filed the litigation, that's all in this box right here, and in these papers right in here, I'm going to have to get out of town before they kill me because I am this guy. This guy with all them Obama buttons all over him, walking around looking like an idiot. Because I was campaigning for the president. But it paid off because the president helped me by referring my case to the Justice Department. The reason why I got in these fight with all these elected officials is because when it was time to pony up some answers to the Justice Department where the president's office referred me to, they couldn't do nothing about this guy. The housing whistleblower retaliated against, and it's in this newspaper. That's another black traitor to his freaking race that got a whole bunch of pieces of freaking silver to sell his own people down the fucking river. And I'm about to digitize these motherfuckers, and I'm gonna fly them off over to the goddamn courthouse, and I'm gonna bust their ass with this thing right here. And you know what I'm really gonna do to them? I'm gonna turn all them fucking supermen, J.A. Rogers. From Superman to man. You ever read that one? You see what they did to him? I'm about to do to this guy. I'm about to do to that guy. And all his freaking friends. They bunch of crooks. Because you know why? Because this guy. His office with Ida Smith. At the VA. That's it right there. The picture right there. And there goes my badge right there. That's where they covered up a hangman's noose. Hangsman's noose being in the VA motor pool and guess what she covered it up 
did all the negotiations, did everything to cover it up, crying out loud. You're supposed to blast that all over the freaking news in order for something to happen. When you all got something like this, you're supposed to call the news with the power of the council. You're a bunch of black critters to your race that destroyed this guy. That's this guy, Dr. Tube the Crusader. Okay? And I ain't playing with you guys. Okay? All I know is I'm going about to wash your mouth with freaking soap for all of the bad things you all said about me that was a lie. And right here, this is my protest against Mayor Bloomberg. I buy bootleg cigarettes and sell them till I quit. And since all of y'all seem to think that there's no hope for me, fuck you. Because there's veterans only communities where I can hang and be with some people that's worthy. And since all of y'all think I ain't freaking black enough. So and so all you black politicians in your office think I ain't black enough, I just celebrated Hanukkah with my Jewish family who adopted me. And as a French woman, Orthodox Catholic, I was accepted like a regular guy. But since y'all think I'm some kind of white boy, and I ain't black enough, well then guess what? All I got to say to you is, bang, that's what I'm talking about. And you can just suck on this right here. Bang, that's what I'm talking about. Huh? What? You think I'm a white boy? You think I'm a white boy? I don't have to be a white boy to be European educated. Okay? Y'all got this color thing going on with y'all too much. I was with the 1st Battalion, 75th Infantry Ranger when I first went into the army. Volunteered to be in the Special Forces. And guess what? You're shitting on my freaking whole contribution to the great empire of the United States of America. You're shitting all over my ass and act like it wasn't shit. Well, that's the training it took to bust all your fucking asses and get the fuck away with it, you motherfuckers. Now, what you think is, you think you high tech, right here. You think you high tech, I low tech you. You think you low tech, I high tech you. I digitize you. And I will sell your ass down the river. You did it to me. You guys can't freaking be serious. Every one of y'all seem to think y'all got this black thing going on. That every time a black guy gets to do something wrong, which is he's selling drugs, he buying sex in the Dominican Republic as an old black co-founder of the Congressional Black Caucus. And every one of y'all scared of that. All of y'all scared of that. All of y'all scared of that. Because you got a fear factor up in your ass called the Willie Lynch chip. And you seem to think it's okay. I don't play that shit. I'm French. I'm a Haitian. I'm a black man. I'm the real black man. I am the original black man because I'm the only one and only three fucking black man that saves all you motherfuckers because my number is 2001. The 2000 Haitians that volunteered to come here and fight against the Confederacy in order to set you black Negroes free. I'm the last one that's coming to save you. I'm your Jesus Christ. Your savior. Because you bunch of pieces of crap is a freaking abomination. And what I'm doing to you, I'm doing it to you in order to save your ass. Because you're a bunch of black traitors to your fucking race. All you a bunch of crooks, all you are second class, servant class, no good piece of shit niggas. And I live and assimilate into your culture so freaking well. Speak your language so goddamn good you can't even fucking tell that I'm another nigga. Another kind. The free kind. The one that's gonna bust your ass to set you free. Because all the other ones that don't want to be set free, that's keeping you enslaved, my job is to take them down the river. As you can see, bang, after that my hands are still fucking clean. My hands are still clean. My hands, mm, mm, mm. My hands are still, bang, clean. Alright? I can do that. Can you do that? Can you show me that your hands are clean? Can you talk, tell me that the congressman's office and everybody else didn't sell me down the river? After bringing you all of the evidence to show you that you got the biggest bunch of racist freaking crap going on in your goddamn district, unlike anywhere else in the world, unlike anybody else has ever put together for you and handed to you on the silver freaking platter with litigation that cost 
or would have cost at least a hundred thousand dollars that I did all by my fucking self because I'm got that I'm that goddamn smart. I scared the mayor of New York and made him ask Dr. Fritz Fieser May that he gave the Veterans Association uh, Haitian American Veterans Association the contract to do the Veterans Day Parade and did he make any money? I don't know. Okay? All of you black Negroes that are a bunch of traitors to your fucking race tell me, oh, you can't be associated with me. Fuck you, you ain't my goddamn friend. You never was, you never will be. Everything I did, I did it for you black folks because I love you motherfuckers. I love you bitches. Even stink ass, no good piece of shit motherfucker that they are. I love you, my brothers, because most of y'all, y'all don't even know what's going on. It's the vets. It's the fucking vets. Like Larry Wayne Vang. That's the first. No, the second one. That really put some black American in me. Right after Frank J. Phillips, and he was a fucking private with the 24th Artillery uh, 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 Battalion. At Hunter Army Airfield. We've got Clinton Lucas. We've got Fitzgeorge. We've got Fritz Fils M.A. But... Now that there's money involved, I'm not sure I can count on him. Lester Muse, you gave me a couple of dollars when I was sitting homeless in front of your fucking building. But guess what? That was a contribution you made to nothing. To nothing. You sink that shit in the black hole because you're a fucking traitor, Lester Muse. I don't know what the hell wrong with you guys, man, but y'all got some serious fucking problems. Serious goddamn mental psychological and goddamn social fucking problems, man. I just wanted to have to talk to you niggas in Ebonic, which is your first fucking language. It's not English, it's Ebonic, because that's what your no good, uneducated fucking mama with a bastard goddamn baby made you out to be. Ain't Ebonic talking motherfucker. Yeah, what the fuck? <sighs> I apologize if you've been offended. I apologize. The only problem is I was talking to you in violence, being a black guy. They thought I wasn't black enough. Pissed me off. Let's go back to the scene where the evidence of all the crimes against me. And I had to do this because Tom Critter pissed me off last night. He fucking pissed me off talking about it. He don't like how I'm talking about him. Motherfucker, what, the, what, what you doing, man? You're a fucking idiot. You're getting paid. Look, man. I'm the guy that helped you sucker Bloomberg into giving you all that fucking money for all the press because the congressman's office paid you off to take that newspaper off the fucking shelves of everywhere. That's why I had so much to give to anybody, everybody in order for Detective Bernie Porter of the Queen's District Attorney's Office to tell you it's almost like it's my paper. I own the motherfucker because I worked that goddamn hard for it to put him out in the fucking street and to make you something. Because you ain't shit. They treat you like shit, Tom Crater. They treat you like shit, man. All the money you fucking made. Look at you now. You see where I made you too? Yeah, that's the way I can speak English like this. I'm a foreign. Coulant get my mon caca. C'est pas un mou mon foutier. Ok? M'pas un mi chawon, m'pas un mi tibor de gérant la cour. Now for that third language fight. Vous êtes ces personnes. Que le Dieu, mon Dieu, le seul Dieu. Vous mettez à un côté. C'est en place parce que vous n'êtes pas civilisé. Let me give it to you for another one. Pyong China. Pyong China. Rig de Shemaka. Now, for that fifth language. Yo, dog. What up, dog? What up, man? How you feeling? How you feeling, dog? What up? <laughs> I told you I can speak, read, and write three of them and have a working knowledge of five. Time to go out now. Y'all have a nice day. Bye-bye.